in Renderer, we help filmmakers, 3D designers, and animators uh, to create their digital content faster and without buying expensive hardware. This is a Cinedy Gear News video, supported by B&H and CVP. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinedy, and I'm here with Piotr from Renderer. Piotr, how are you? Hello, Johnny. I'm fine, and how are you today? I'm very well, thank you very much. And last time we talked was, I think, almost one and a half years ago. And at that time, you exposed Renderer, which is a cloud-based service. But let's do a quick recap for those who didn't see the previous interview, because obviously you moved forward and you have some new things to share with, with our audience. But first of all, what is Renderer? Yep, uh, in Renderer, we help filmmakers, 3D designers, and animators uh, to create their digital content faster and without buying expensive hardware. We do it by giving them access to cloud desktops with very powerful GPUs, uh, high-quality remote desktop streaming, and shareable cloud storage that enables real-time collaboration. Nice. And your idea was actually to give some type of uh, experience as if people in remote locations, they feel as if they're working under the same roof or same room. Did you succeed? Exactly. Our, our goal was to basically take your physical studio that, that, that you use for your work and collaboration and put it in the cloud cloud give you access to the uh, remote tools that uh, that that enable this kind of co collaboration with other creatives with your teammates uh, and and make it much more fluent uh, less expensive uh, and uh, and available worldwide uh, through the internet and and yes we achieved to to the to, to create this kind of experience we have people using it uh, exactly in this way and and it's awesome so last time we talked, you mentioned that actually you don't need a very expensive hardware at home, at the office or at the production house. You simply don't need a lot of storage. You don't need, uh, you don't need a very expensive laptop or editing desktop. Uh, so, so how is it working? What is the concept here? The concept here is that the, with render we can use your basic device, such as MacBook Air or even Windows Surface, to do all of your work. You just connect from this device to our powerful cloud desktops, which are running in our infrastructure, and you use all of your favorite software there. It's running in the, on, in the, on those powerful cloud desktops there, and you just connect to it. And you send all the, all the media, you so store all the files uh, in this cloud infrastructure, and this actually facilitates all the collaboration that you can uh, that you can have with your teammates. So, our creators are restricted in any way with the editing platform that they are using. Uh, no, they are not. Basically, they can use any kind of platform that uh, that can run on Windows. So they can use uh, Avid, they can use Premiere Pro, they can use DaVinci Resolve. Uh, also, they can use any kind of animation software or 3D software that uh, that uh, that they want. So they are not restricted. They can use the same tools that they are using every day. You mentioned uh, like like software that they are using on Windows. So I thought because it's in the cloud, there is no restriction if I'm using Mac or Windows. Just just to clarify this point, so that people are not confused. Okay, so uh, basically you can connect from any kind of uh, personal device. You can connect from Mac device, you can connect from Windows device uh, to, to our, uh, our Render Cloud desktops. The thing is that Render Cloud desktops themselves are running on Windows. Okay, now it's clear. Good, so let's move forward because obviously since the time that we last talked, Everything moved forward. I know you and your team are really working hard. You're listening very carefully to what the audience would like to have, and you're trying to refine and make the product even better. So let's start with online transcoding. What does this mean? And actually, why do we need it? OK, so uh, online transcoding is uh, this, uh, well, you, you can think of it as a media encoder running in the cloud. So basically, with this uh, functionality, you don't have to turn on your cloud desktop. You don't have to turn on DaVinci Resolve or Media Encoder or any other tool that you use uh, for, for your transcoding purposes and then uh, for, uh, transcode your file into desired format. With us, you can just select 
this uh, file out of your cloud storage. Just uh, simply select it as you would select a file in uh, Google Drive or Dropbox. And then you choose option to transcode it to desired format. It simplifies the process. Uh, it uh, allows you to get your results faster. And when you're asked by your customer for different file format, you can deliver it faster. So actually, it's not about what I'm uploading. It's, it's after I'm done with my project, I have the complete flexibility within the cloud to transcode to different formats and then deliver it to, let's say, different clients, different needs, or different uh, file sizes. That's the idea? Yes, exactly. So the, let's say that uh, you finished your project, you have your uh, ProRes uh, master copy, and you want to create, uh, for, uh, let's say, H.264, H.265 file, uh, five, uh, deliverables fast. And uh, with us, you can do it very simply by clicking, uh, clicking the file, selecting the desired format, and transcoding it online without turning on uh, Cloud Desktop, without downloading the file and doing it on your local device. It's all uh, transcoded in the cloud this way. You can also watermark those files with us. I think that's one of the strengths of your system. I can actually transcode in the cloud, in your system, on one virtual machine, and I can actually continue and working editing on another. That's correct? Yes, that's true. And even with transcoding, you, you are not reserving those uh, those cloud desktops. So let's say that you finish uh, editing of one of your videos uh, on one cloud desktop, and you hit rendering, and it's going to render for the next, let's say, 5 to 10 uh, to 15 minutes. But with us, you don't have to wait. You can turn on the next. Uh, cloud desktop, start working on the next episode or the next video that you, uh, you want to edit. In the meantime, the, the rendering is getting done in the background. And uh, with transcoding uh, option, you don't even have to turn on those cloud desktops. You, with transcoding option, you can do it directly uh, from our web application. Nice. And the next service that you just implemented or presented is Teams. What, what Teams is all about? Teams is kind of self-explanatory, right? It's all about uh, managing uh, your uh, your colleagues, your collaborators, your uh, for, uh, other editors and other creatives in your studio. So basically, it's a very uh, easy way to add uh, for other creatives to the platform, to share uh, their uh, your media with them and your cloud desktops with them, so we can work together on the same projects and on the same media. So bringing people to work together on a project is really great, but is, is there any limitation on the number of, of people that you can actually uh, uh, gather or ask to join the project? It all depends on the plan uh, that uh, that you select when using Rendero. In top plan, uh, for, there is no such limitation, so we can onboard teams as big as you want. Talking about pricing, you now have a new pricing structure. You just introduced the pro plan. What is the pro plan? Uh, ProPlan is uh, the plan where, uh, which is subscription based. So there is a certain amount of hours that you can spend in Render without additional payments. And uh, when we introduced this uh, this kind of uh, business model, we saw a drastic spike uh, in uh, in uh, in our usage in in the way that our customer uh, started to interact uh, with uh, Render. Uh, so we wanted to make this uh, product very inclusive. We wanted to make this product available for everyone and uh, we wanted people to uh, fully utilize it when uh, when uh, for creating their stuff. And uh, this subscription-based business model was something that allowed this kind of uh, hyper usage uh, from the user perspective. And, and we love it. We're going to continue with it. Uh, we, are we have introduced also the next plans, the studio plan, which is also uh, based on the, on the very same assumption. And this is, this is the direction that we're going to follow in the future. Piotr, so you're obviously moving forward with your plans and actually big plans. But can you share with us anything a little bit into the future? What are you working on besides those new initiatives that you already mentioned uh, previously? 
Sure, we've got a very big uh, development plans for the next uh, 12 to 18 months. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, new uh, features and a lot of new wonderful products built uh, in Renderall. Uh, the, the one I want to highlight at the moment is a full native uh, support for mo mobile devices. Uh, we are wo working for a way to improve uh, the, the connection quality and performance when using Renderall from devices such as iPad or Android, uh, Android tablets. Piotr, I'm personally sold on the idea of this type of remote editing because it's really, it's freeing me from buying all the, all the time the new hardware and have a lot of capacity for storage. But before we say thank you and goodbye, anything else that you want to say or highlight about your service? After all the feedback that we are getting from our customers uh, that are saying that with us they can uh, work in the way that never that they never worked before, uh, that with us they can tackle uh, the projects that there that there were out of reach uh, for them a couple of months ago, uh, this is this is an amazing experience. This is uh, uh, this wonderful thing to to deliver this kind of solution that actually helps people. Right, uh, and uh, so uh, as a last thing, uh, I would encourage uh, all, all the creatives to just give us a try. There's a very small price for a trial that allows you to check us out and see it for yourself. Great, Piotr, I really wish you best of luck with this uh, initiative. I know it's a, it's like a marathon run. It's a, you had an idea, you executed it, you are now putting more and more features into this and I really wish best of luck with this. So thank you very much for the opportunity to talk to you. Thanks a lot. It, it was a pleasure, Johnny. Same, same. Good. Guys, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.